you know, that would be more fitting for me to, to go to my first All-Star game. Um, obviously in D.C. is kind of uh, where my career really really started to take off and, and I've had more success there and as a team as well. Um, but uh, to come back here, um, you know, where I really, you know, started growing my family and and had a lot of special memories in the place I was drafted to. Uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool story to uh, to be able to tell, you know, my kids when when we're older and oh, yeah. and, and grandkids after that. Two decades ago, when Wayne Gretzky uh, retired, uh, everybody says that his record couldn't be broken. And then 20 years later, there's a guy, your teammate, coming, it's coming close. So what does it say about about Ovechkin? Well, yeah, I mean, for for anyone to break um, one of Gretzky's records is. You know, I think that shows how special of a player they are. But uh, to be able to see Ovi up close and um, just see how special of a player he is, how uh, how special of a goal scorer he is, it's it's truly amazing. I mean, he just he just keeps scoring. He he doesn't seem to show any signs of slowing down. Uh, since I've I've been on the team, um, I think around almost five years now. Ovi hasn't hasn't changed. He hasn't lost a step. He hasn't gotten slower. His shot hasn't gotten softer. He hasn't had any less drive. If anything, more drive. So uh, it's going to be fun to watch his career and see how many people he can climb on that uh, that all-time goals ladder. Do you think he will pass Chris? I think he has a good chance to. I mean, you just you look at the pace he's at now. I think it's going to come down to what he wants to do, how long he wants to play. Um, but if he if he keeps working and stays how he uh, stays at the pace he's at, um, I think that you, you can look at the numbers. I think he can do it. You get the guy to your right here, of course, John Holmes, having a really magical season. What's it been like kind of seeing it firsthand? And are the numbers so good that they surprise you at this point, or is it kind of just no? No, it doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, ever since I got to the Caps, I you could kind of tell that. That he wasn't fully matured yet, and his his game wasn't to the level that it was going to get to yet. Uh, over the last four and a half years now, he seems to just keep growing, keep getting better, keep getting smarter, more experienced. Um, he plays a lot of minutes. I mean, everyone talks about uh, the points he has, which which are are pretty amazing um, and pretty special. Uh, but his his play all around, playing PK, playing big minutes defensively. Play against other teams' top units uh, and top lines. He's, uh, you know, in my eyes, I think he's the best defenseman in the league. You were an All-Star once before, weren't you, with the Seattle Juniors? Uh, <laughs> actually, I, I I never made any of the All-Star teams when I was younger. Uh, out in Seattle, I was able to make a couple in Minnesota, which is nice. But uh, this one's a little bigger. What do you think about the fact that Seattle, where you spent a lot of your formative years, is finally getting a team? I think it's awesome. Uh, I met with a lot of that uh, that group in those years building up to whether or not they're going to get a team. And uh, I think it's great for the city. I think it's uh, it's great for the sports fans there. I think if you follow along, uh, you know, you look at the, the, the Seahawks fans, it's uh, it can get pretty wild there. So I'm excited uh, for them to get a team and go in there and and play a game and uh, see how crazy it gets. You had to drive a lot of miles just to get rink time in Seattle because there wasn't any ice, right? No, yeah. Uh, I had to drive quite a quite a ways when I was younger. And uh, my last year, and I lived up in Sandwood, and it was you know probably a good hour and a half to and from the rink, and practices were usually at 10 p.m. So um, I didn't get a lot of sleep, probably why I didn't grow to, to be the size my dad is. but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot of time out there. Um, tough to get to the rinks, and hopefully, you know, the new team in Seattle will will grow the youth game there. Because um, there was a lot of kids that kind of showed promise, but it was just it was pretty hard to, to get to them from the rinks. Also, pretty expensive out there. So, uh, excited for the team to get there for that. TJ, going back more than ten years to the kid line days. What are your memories of David Braun? And then now, how do you feel he's playing? Some of the best hockey of his career, and the fact that you guys are both, both now here at the All Star game together. Yeah, I actually saw Terry, uh, and uh, he was coming out of an interview I was going in about uh, about an hour ago, and it was pretty cool. We haven't had a lot of time to to catch up and say hi, but 
uh, going back to the kid line days, those were uh, those were pretty pretty special and pretty cool, especially um, with a, a coach that that liked veteran guys and that would kind of come up to us and in practice and let us know that he's looking for us to make mistakes so he can stop the drill. Uh, and so it was, we had to stick together through those days and, and it was fun. Um, I think having success together and growing together and uh, I think it was pretty exciting for the fans too to have a, a line in the kid line, uh, you know, for them to be excited about the future. And he's playing, he's playing unbelievable right now. Um, he's always had, you know, great hands, great vision. It seems like he's getting a little bit of grit to his game. And uh, kind of rounding him out as a complete player. Here we go. Hi. Hi. I'm Lily Anderson. Tonight I'm with Upper Deck. I'd like to know what is your favorite city to play in besides your own? Ooh, my favorite city to play in. Can I pick? Can I pick three? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So St. Louis is always fun to get back. I got a lot of good friends here. Minnesota is where a lot of my family is, and then the rest of my family is out in Seattle. So when I play in Vancouver. Um, my family gets to come up and drive and, and see the game. So those are my three favorite places uh, to play just because I get to see my family and friends, people that uh, when you're playing the NHL with a long season, you don't get to see too often. Yeah, I got one more. What is the last thing you have watched on Netflix? The last thing I've watched on Netflix is it's uh, Criminal Minds. Actually, me and my wife were watching it in the hotel room before we came over. So I've been into the crime shows lately, and uh, that one's uh, I think is one of the best. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Great interview. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of crazy because I remember, I remember Walt talking about playing against kids um, and had playing against their dads when he was younger. And... Uh, Matthew and Brady were, you know, just little guys running around the locker room playing ball hockey with all the other little kids. And so uh, to see them both here in an all-star game, one's pretty special for um, for Chantel and Walt, and uh, you know, also pretty cool for their family, for them to both be in an all-star game together and be back here. And for me to play against them, not only in the NHL, but in an all-star game makes me feel pretty old. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool to see the success that they've had from uh, coming into the locker room and playing ball hockey after games to uh, to make it into an all-star game. So it says a lot about their, their parents and their family and really happy for those guys. DJ, you were surprised at how much you're still adored here. I mean, if you go to a game, you still see a lot of OG 74 jerseys. I mean, it's been a while since you played here, but I mean, when you come back, are the people still coming up to you and talking about stories and watching you play and all that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty surreal and I think it, it uh, it's a pretty special feeling, um, you know, to come back to a place where I haven't played in a while. I've won a cup in another city. They've won a cup with a different team. Uh, plenty of chances to get new jerseys, and there's still a lot of a lot of '74 Oshie jerseys out there. So, I think it goes to show you the the loyalty of the fans here. Um, I put on in a lot of work to to try to win win a cup here, and um, I feel like they they respected that. They respected my work ethic and. Um, and I respect their 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 support through thick and thin. You know, I I got in a little trouble here when I was younger, and no one turned their back on me. Um, they uh, they've always been so so great to me, and I think that's why it makes makes it so special to be back here in St. Louis and and uh, and play my first All Star game.